All right, hey guys, I'm going to go to Minecraft and explain and show you how to either get started or if you don't have Minecraft and can't figure it out, then uh, you can watch my video. This is my first experience of being a video game streamer, so bear with me. But anyway, this is a really cool uh, Minecraft world, I guess you could call it. Uh, it's a sustainable city, and it goes along with what we're learning. So it looks like this. Um, I will try to send you a link to where if you have Minecraft, you can just go right there. Otherwise, you can search for it. It's called Sustainable City by Minecraft Education. Uh, it looks like this. And... We're going to click on it, and I'm going to just create a world with it. And what's really cool about this is uh, it's got lessons that you can follow to walk around. And there's people that will tell you about what you can um what you're supposed to be learning about and it starts off here we are in the classroom and there is our wonderful teacher and so i don't know why i need cooked beef <laughs> anyway if i want to talk to her i don't hit her i click on the right click and i have all these different lessons that i can go through and the one i want everyone to do today to begin is the green building. All right. I thought there was a house on here. I guess it's the green building. Uh, energy efficient housing. There it is. Lesson five, housing. All right. And now it says, take the bus to the house. Now I see these little sparklies. I need to follow the sparklies. I don't know why it's one. It keeps doing this. There we go. Where are the sparklies? There's the sparklies. Oh, it wants me to take the crosswalk. I'll be safe and do that. So here's the bus. But before I get on the bus, take a look. We've got a big sustainable city. There's a whole bunch of different information in all these buildings that we can learn about. So if you finish the sustainable house, you can go around and check out some other places. So let's talk to the driver. This electric bus can take you all around the town. Just tell me where you would like to go. We're going to the house. There's also an option to have them speak, but I tried that last time and didn't work. All right, and it automatically takes me to the house. So here I am. Follow the sparklies. All right, and there's this arrow telling me I talked to this guy first. Let's see what he has to tell me. We are using sustainable materials that are produced without depleting a non-renewable resource. In this case, we're using bottom ash from the waste to energy plant. Lumber from the sustainable forest project and glass from the recycling facility. All right, so ash is a type of wood uh, that they're getting. It must be some sort of waste uh, product that they're going to be throwing away. They're going to get trees from a sustainable forest project. That means that uh, when they grow the trees, they're growing them faster than they use them. So they're not going to run out. And glass from the recycling facility. So they're reusing that glass. And let's find my sparklies to see where do I go next. Here we go. Hello. Oops. We are building a new house. Our goal with all new housing is to reduce the impact that it has on the resources we all share. If we can conserve energy usage with this, with this house, we can take one more step toward a sustainable future. All right, let's follow the sparklies. 
And looks like I go inside. Ooh, this is like an outside area. I can see I've got some little blue things. Here, it's must be modeling or demonstrating that something's happening here. All right, let's talk to this guy. He has something to tell me. Let's see if I can get him to talk. Oh, wait, five seconds. Five, four, what? Ah. Do you see that pink stuff in between the walls of this house? It's called insulation, and it will slow heat transfer significantly. We have lined the walls and ceiling of this house to slow the heat loss during the cold months and slow heat gain during the warm months. All right, nice reader. I can probably read myself and it's a little easier. But this pink stuff is insulation. Now I talked about that. Insulation means it's blocking heat from going through. And it looks like now it is cold outside. I guess this represents cold. And the cold is going, well, when this house is done being built, this cold will be blocked by the uh, insulation, the pink stuff. Right? And actually what it does is it blocks heat from going in. So it would actually be blocking the heat from escaping the house and getting to the cold outside. Or if it were heat on the outside, a really hot day, the heat is blocked from going in. So perhaps these blue things actually represent heat trying to get into the house, but the house wants to stay cool in the summertime. All right, so they, they put insulation in the walls. Cool. Where's my next sparkly to go to? Up the stairs. He's gonna talk about ventilation. Moving the air around the house around inside in the house will make the heating system more efficient. Air inside the house is collected and distributed throughout the rooms by a series of ventilation ducts. So this means that they're blowing the air, moving the air through the house. That way you don't have just one little hot corner of your house and the rest is cold. It moves that heating around. And I guess we can maybe see These ventilation ducts. Oh, it's these gray things right here. This is where they bl are blowing the heat through, right? So that it's not just hot in one little space, it's sharing the heat and spreading it around through the house. All right, let's see what this guy says. I'm installing smart blinds on all of my windows. Once they're connected to the house's temperature control system, they will open and close automatically to let sunlight in in the cold months or block it out during the warm months. So blinds are the things on the outside of your window and we want light to come in if it's cold because the light will warm us. But if it's really hot outside, we wanna block that light so that we can have a nice cold inside. These are a much better way than using air conditioners and heaters. We want to use the sun's light to help our house stay warm and when it's cold outside. So let's test it out, see what it does. Well, it's cold outside. Uh, it's nighttime. Okay, so it looks like it's closing when it's the day. Open at night. When the sun comes out, they close. Yeah, so we want to close them if the sun's shining and we want to not have any more heat from the sun. But if we want it to stay hot, we want to heat our house up, we keep our blinds open. Thank you for your important information, window film and smart blinds man. Do you have anything to tell me? Windows are one of the places that are the most susceptible to heat gain and loss. A high performance window film can make the glass resist heat. All right, so this means you're gonna put some stuff on the outside of the window to make the window a better insulator. 
Now what happened here? Ah, oh, they put some stuff on the window. Okay, so they put this like special plasticky uh, sticker on the window, and it helps block the heat. All right, following the sparklies. Enter scaffolding and hold jump to go up. Uh, what's the jump button? Space is jump. All right, we can see, oh, look, solar panels on the roof. And then there's the insulation, keeping that house warm in the winter and cool in the summer. This insulation, this pink stuff, is probably a fiberglass type of insulation. There's a lot of different things we can use to be <laughs> insulators. Uh, here's a guy to talk to. Passive energy collection. I'm installing solar panels on this roof. During months when the sun's angle is low, the system will collect less. When the sun's angle is high during the warm months, the system will collect more. This surplus energy can be stored in batteries for use later in the year. All right, so it's connected to a battery. That way, for example, at nighttime, you don't have any sun, but it's charging a battery so that uh, we don't need the sun to have electricity. And it's also for the winter, it says. Here's our beautiful, sustainable city out here. All right, where are my sparklies? In here. Down the hole. Enter scaffolding and hold crouch to go down. I just jump. Yay. Furnace. So that means it's a heater. This machine next to me is the furnace or a heater. It heats the house. As you may have seen, many other features of this house reduce the need for the furnace to run. If this was done for every dwelling, which means house, we could reduce their energy use considerably. So if we have all these things, we don't have to burn stuff to heat the house or use electricity to heat the house. Should we turn on the furnace? And there, the heater's on, heating up the house. Yay, well, let's turn it off. We don't want to waste it. There we go, now we're not burning stuff. So a lot of times these furnaces burn natural gas, they burn um, coal sometimes. Um, I would say natural gas is probably the likely thing to burn. Uh, or electricity, they use electricity. It gets hot just like your oven and it takes that oven heat and spreads it through the house. So we can see this one, this gets hot and the hot air goes through this tube and then it spreads it out through this thing, this thing. So it's got a fan that kind of pumps the air, the hot air around. Hi, right, I'm not supposed to talk to you now. I think we already talked to that guy. Back to the bus already. Oh, I'm going to miss you, sustainable house. It was so much fun. Bye. All right, so let's check out another area. Have you completed your lesson? Uh, I hope so. The sparklies tell me I did. 
Boozah, lesson completed. All right, where do I go now? I gotta go back to the school. Oh, I'm destroying the flowers. Where's my school? Was it here? It looks like some sort of store. Is this the school? Return to classroom. Where's that classroom? Mm. Uh, there it is. Hi, teacher. I did my work. What's What do I do now? All right, let's check out something else. Uh, we've done the housing. We could check out green building. I think this would probably be good to help us with our sustainable house. So we're gonna go to three, green building. And the sparklies now will tell us where to go. Haha, <laughs> I'm not gonna cross on the crosswalk. There's no cars here to kill me. Oh, I don't even have to take the bus. I just walk straight there. There's the green building. They're in the middle of building it. Look both ways. All right, he's got an arrow on his head. It means I should talk to him. A large space takes quite a lot of energy to heat. And our goal with every new building is to reduce how much energy it takes from the pool of resources that we all share. This new building is heated by a network of pipes that exist between the walls and floors. All right. So when it says pool of resources, that doesn't mean a swimming pool. That means a bunch of resources, right? They want to use less resources, just like for the uh, normal house, right? So they have heat that comes from the floors. I have, in my apartment, I have that too. My floors get hot and that heats up the house. So this building has the same thing. Let's see about this picture we got here. Ugh. All right, so the heat is coming up through this hot stuff on the ground. Let me get a better view. There we go. All right, so they're heating up something. The heat comes up from the ground and it travels through some pipes, probably water inside the pipes. Some hot water is pumped and it's pumped through the floor and that helps the building stay warm. This is a more efficient way to heat a house than using one of these big heaters on the wall that you might have. Uh, the flooring is a much nicer way. One of the reasons why is because this heat rises. And if, heat go, uh, if it's warm on the floor, the heat rises up and heats the house. Now, if you were to put a heater on the ceiling, all right, then you would have a nice hot air all above you. But down here, it's going to be cold because the cold air falls, hot air rises. And we don't want that. We don't need a, to have a very hot ceiling. We, would, we want a hot floor. And that heat will slowly rise and help the room stay warm. And I guess it's okay if the ceiling is cold because you're probably not hanging out up on your ceiling unless you like to be on a ladder or maybe one of those bunk beds. All right. What's next? Where are my sparklies? I don't see sparklies. Maybe is that it? Did I go somewhere wrong? Looks like they're still building this building. Ah. Uh. Where are the sparklies? Oops. Maybe I was supposed to talk to that other guy. Oops. No! Oh, there we go.
Here we go. Talk to this guy. Yeah, this says geothermal. In the winter, the ground temperature is warmer than the air up here. In the summer, the ground temperature is cooler than the air up here. Inside the pipes, a fast-moving liquid made from water and glycol that made from water and glycol carries the desired temperatures up into the building. Ah, cool. This is like uh, the underground cooling and heating system. All right, so it uses the earth to warm and cool the place. It doesn't have anything hot or cold. It's not using any energy at all. Oh, and look, he's transported us down here. Geothermal. Where are we? What happened? Did they finish the building? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we're in. Oh, there's sparklies. Yay. Building's looking nice. This building's stairway is surrounded by glass and made from beautiful materials so that you can't resist climbing them. The views from the stairs will provide a look out into the town below. The more people that use the stairs, the less energy is consumed by the elevator. Hmm. So if the stairs look nice, the people don't use the elevator. Elevators use electricity, stairs don't. Well, look, it's finished. The wonderful stairway. Oops. Dangerous stairway. I could fall off. All the water from the sinks goes into the building's gray water system. Ah, uh, like in the Japanese toilet. It travels down into a tank in the basement where all the gray water is collected. Then it's pumped up to the roof to be drip-fed into a clevering filter device. Hop in to find out more. All right, so they're collecting all their sink water. Sink water, just like the Japanese toilet. Is this an elevator or something? But what am I doing here? Oh. I'm in the water, the gray water. This is all the water from the sinks in this building. Doesn't look too dirty. Maybe a little soapy. Yay, gray water. See if I can go back up here. Ah, let me out. Oh, I'm drowning. Let me out of here. Jump, 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 jump. Why can't I fly? Is there a fly option here? Swim up. See out here. Oh. No, I'm going to die in here. Tired of swimming in gray water.
Uh... Oh no, is there a button I push or something? <gasps> oh, thank goodness. I'm back. All right. Well, maybe I need to go back to this house or this building. Oh, look, they've completed quite a bit of it. I'm not diving in the gray water system again. No, uh -oh, no battery. I already saw the wonderful stairway. No! Oh well. Hopefully that was the end of this area. I need to find my charger. And I think it's probably a good uh, time to finish this video. And hopefully you have learned something from doing this. And if uh, you don't have Minecraft, uh, maybe it looks a little interesting to you. Uh, I have Minecraft Education Edition. It's free, but it's really complicated. You have to uh, sign up for like a free trial and whatnot. All right. Um, I also have the regular Minecraft on my Nintendo. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you learned a little bit about sustainable houses. Goodbye.